person is a violent criminal, we want that person deported. Just like if we've got someone who is involved in gang activity or if we've got somebody who is suspected terrorist, we but, want to partner with the feds to get those people No, out no, but what you're saying, but, and I asked what, you at the outset, is how, what is the scope of the problem? Now, we know that there are a lot of crimes committed in America by people here legally. Right. And by the way, it just so happens that the top news story on foxnews.com right now is this from Bridgeport, a city not far away, Oscar Hernandez accused of killing his girlfriend and taking off with their daughter. He was caught by ICE officers, federal officers in your city, Hartford, 2013, deported, but came back. So this is a well, real I'm thing. Sorry. So for you to say virtually no crimes are committed by illegal aliens, no, no, no. knowing the actual Actually, number, you're, seems proving, you're proving my point exactly. You're proving my point exactly, which is that's exactly the kind of person that we ought to be prioritizing. State, local, and federal partners working together to prioritize people who have records of violent crime. That individual had a long record of violent crime. That individual was deported under the Obama administration. That's exactly the, the kind feds, of person the we want to work grabbed, together to on, get rid the of. The feds right. grabbed but him, under Connecticut they law, did so with the help of local authorities. That's the whole point. And you're saying my cops no, no, no. should not be helping the feds do this. No, 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 no. You're, you are not, uh, you're either not listening or you're intentionally misleading. But what I'm saying is that's exactly where our cops are going to work hand in hand with the feds to get that person out of here. But you don't even know the scope of the problem. Look, you know exactly what's going on as well as I. You don't want to offend a political constituency. And so you're saying we are taking a stand. You're telling, but, me, you're telling me that a political constituency is uh, undocumented individuals? Or I am saying, that I'm look, you know exactly what I'm saying. It's politically unpopular for you to say you're in any way cooperating with the Trump administration on this divisive issue. And I'm saying, no, as I have from the, the beginning, case. that you don't know the scope of the problem because you didn't ask your police chief how many crimes in Hartford were committed by people here illegally. How can you make no, policy without knowing asked that my number? Police chief, and this is what I'm going to respect his judgment on. What I've asked my police chief is, do you want your police officers to become responsible for acting, uh, asking victims of crime or witnesses of crime about their immigration status so they're afraid to share information? Do you want to be detaining uh, people who haven't committed any crime simply on the basis if of their immigration ask, status? If and you he ask says questions that are that no, politically loaded, he believes it's going to make it harder for leadership. his police officers to do their job. Shouldn't you get the numbers before you devise policy? I mean, you're a smart guy. Shouldn't you get the I numbers? Think what you should do, I think what I should do as mayor, and I think what you should do uh, as whatever you are, is consult those people who are actually in law enforcement. And the International Association of Police Chiefs yes. has a very clear view just on ask, it. Just ask for opinions. You know what, Mr. Staff Mayor, I'll stick with numbers because I take my job seriously. Okay. Thanks for joining so us. So do you have the numbers? Uh, you won't give them up. That's why I don't have them. I wish I did. You didn't even ask your police chief. When you get those numbers, send them to me. And if they really are negligible, I'll be willing to apologize. Thanks.